Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new Man of the Match player review here on FIFA 16. Today we focus on the 81 rated second Man of the Match item, Cedric Bakambu. This player is now 81 rated with 88 pace, 84 dribbling shooting, and 80 physical, not bad. He is of course still six foot tall with high medium work rates, right footed of course, with three star skill moves, but a nice four star weak foot. So there aren't that many amazing players of Bakambu's nation that you can link him to. So most of the time you're going to come up against a full La Liga side. That's your first option for a squad right here. And this one features the likes of Sergio Ramos. We've got Danny Alves, Iniesta, and of course the 90 rated Neymar at left wing. However, I didn't actually use that squad. I used a no links wasted 4-3-3 hybrid team that features the likes of David Luiz. We've got Isco, Thiago, Ian Robin, and that Neymar once again. So it's in-game style. That's time. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, click that first link in the description. It will take you to Cedric Bakambu's page on the site where you can see his awesome in-game stats. Now, if I had to choose three stats, which I felt made Bakambu stand out in-game, I would go for 92 agility, 88 sprint speed, and 88 shot power. This leads me nicely onto the pros and cons, and of course, we'll get those negatives out of the way first. Bakambu's skill moves kind of let him down a little bit. He is only three star, of course, which to me means that you lack a little bit of versatility going on the attack. It's a shame because Bakambu's actually really good on the ball. He's got fantastic dribbling, fantastic ball control, and he's really agile. So if he had the four star skill moves, it would literally take his game up to the next level. However, he still performs incredibly well, and that is a very minor negative. Bakambu's sprint speed and overall pace is exceptionally good. For someone who's six foot tall with good physical, I actually found him to be like a steam train. He didn't seem to stop once he got going. I mentioned a moment ago about how good this guy's dribbling and agility is. He's very good at getting that ball under control, running with it, and then twisting and turning away from the opposition's defense. And if you're not quite so good at doing that style of play, he's got a more, let's say, route one approach. He's pretty strong and he can be a pretty brutal player, holding off your opposition's defenders with strength and just plowing through and scoring the goals. And he does this all with high finishing stats, great shot power and decent long shots as well. So the big question is, is there a difference between first man of the match Bakambu and second man of the match Bakambu, apart from a few stats and a bit of a chunk of coins? The answer, in my opinion, is yes. I found him to be that little bit better on the ball and that little bit quicker. And of course, he had the little bit more finishing in his locker too. A very interesting player who has now gone up plus nine overall from his original item on FIFA 16. I urge you to try this guy and let me know what you think of him in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Peace.